One bet you didn't even know I was hiding in this Victrola, now did you? Who? For me? Yeah, Pink. Pink Porter. Sir, didn't you recognize my voice? You see, I wanted so darn bad to get over here and spend Christmas with you folks, but see, Gene Goldcat just insisted that I stay out there in Kansas City and be on the job. Well, I found out that all Gene wanted was my body and that I could really be with you in spirit after all. Well, this morning I got to thinking about you so strong and wishing so hard I could be with you that the first thing I knew I'd left my body back there in KC and here I was in your front room. Well, I just sneaked up into this Victrola and parked myself and waited for you to turn it on. Gee, I'm glad you did, too, because that gave me a chance to speak to you and tell you that we're all going to have a Merry Christmas together. And by the way, concerning that song, could you hear that? We sang that back in Kansas City, but we wanted so much for you folks to hear it that we just concentrated and wished and thought maybe it would reach your ears. I hope you did get it. You know you know who that was singing? One of them was none other than the incomparable Hoagie Carmichael, the master of the piano. He was playing, too. Listen, there he is back in KC trying to shout something to you. Now listen. Hey, this is all you folks. Yeah, that was Hoagie. Did you hear him? I did. Sure, Hoagie's with our band. And so Stokes. Yeah, Stokes was singing, too. The hell, Stokes, our accordionist and coach. Now, listen, maybe you can hear him, too. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, hey. everybody. Uh, Stokes. See, he's got the Christmas spirit, too. And those are the boys that did the singing, and I had to get in and spoil it. See, my space on this record's about gone, so I'll have to quit talking. But I'm not going to say goodbye because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay right here for Christmas, and so let's really make it a merry one, shall we? Sure. 